Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. All right, so let's talk about C60 today, hydrogen, and I'm gonna talk about glutathione too. The reason is because I got messages and emails from people asking me about C60 and its relation to hydrogen, so I thought I'd do a video. I did a lot of research on this, but I specifically was looking for scientific evidence because that's always what I'm looking for. I'm really trying to find stuff that's really scientifically backed. What's weird about I lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, what's weird about C60 is that I actually didn't find a lot of scientific evidence. I mean, if you were to compare it just to hydrogen, for example, hydrogen has a ton of scientific evidence and C60 has very little, nothing really concrete or solid. In fact, I just got done researching glutathione. I did a video the other day about it. If you haven't seen that one, watch that one because the more I researched glutathione, I was like super crazy excited. The benefits of glutathione are just amazing. Though glutathione is something that the body makes naturally and it's you know an antioxidant. And obviously hydrogen has been shown to increase your glutathione levels, but C60, I just wasn't that impressed doing the research. I wish I had something more exciting for you guys, but I really wasn't that impressed. And, and some of the research that I actually did find about it, it appears that hydrogen is bonding, or might be, because again, the information is not completely solid. The science is not solid yet. And I would be curious to see more out there. Hey, I'm still open to see if it's something amazing. I just didn't find anything that really blew my mind. But it does appear that there's a strong possibility that hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, is binding to the structure of C60, and that might even be the whole reason it even has any benefits at all, is just because of the hydrogen. So, I, in my opinion, I don't really need the C60 in my lifestyle, but this again is just my opinion. I just need hydrogen, I just need a good clean diet, I just need really, really clean water, which is, by the way, if you haven't subscribed um, and hit that notification button, go ahead and do so, because I'm gonna be making a new video soon about how to make the perfect water, because water is just super crucial to our well-being, especially when you can use molecular hydrogen with it. But back to C60. Again, I didn't really find anything mind-blowing. I didn't even find any real correlation between using it with hydrogen, because that's originally what I had heard about it, and that's why I did the research, but I, other than hydrogen binding to it, there really wasn't much that I really found out about it. So, nothing terribly exciting, but if you guys want to do your own research, it'll be really interesting because, for example, I really think that glutathione is way better than C60, but if you pull up the list of benefits of C60 and glutathione, you're going to see that they're virtually identical, but yet there is way more scientific research to back the use of glutathione. But, of course, I'm more interested in making glutathione naturally in my body, not taking a supplement, because a supplement doesn't seem to interact with the body as efficiently. It's better when your body makes it, and that's where hydrogen comes in again, guys, because hydrogen will actually cause you to produce your own glutathione and bring you up to healthy levels or keep you at healthy levels if you have something affecting your body that could possibly deplete you of glutathione. So, I mean, if I was going to try to do something, I'd be more interested in the glutathione than I would even be um, in the C60 after the research that I did. But you know what? I got something better than either one of those. Better than either one of those guys. Hydrogen. Hydrogen blows either one of those two out of the water. Now, not to say that I don't want glutathione. Glutathione's crazy amazing. I totally want it in my life. I just want my body making it. I don't want a supplement of it. And then C60 just wasn't so big that I was like, oh my God, this stuff is just so crazy. The scientific research is through the roof. I didn't see anything like that. So, you know, wasn't really impressed. So I thought I'd give you guys, you know, make this video and give you the information about what I found based on all the research that I did. And if you guys, you know, have any actual scientific data that you'd like to share, you're welcome to, you know, comment or email me. And I'm always willing to do more research about it. But from all the stuff that I looked into, just didn't find anything really crazy. Hydrogen's still the most amazing thing that I have found. And remember, they're saying that the C60 is an antioxidant. Glutathione's an antioxidant. And so is hydrogen. The thing about molecular hydrogen though is it's tinier, which is super important because it gets into every nick and cranny of your body. That's something that makes it more amazing. The other thing that's more amazing than either one of the other two is that it's completely non-toxic. That's super important. You don't have to worry about overdosing or anything because even with glutathione, you don't want too high of levels of it as it's not good for you. Hydrogen, you don't have to worry about that. And then not to mention, hydrogen, well, obviously it's the safest stuff on earth. It's super permeable, but it's a selective antioxidant. That's really, really huge because you do want certain things in your body. Oxidation is a part of what needs to happen in your body, but you just want like a balanced level of it. And when you have something that's selective rather than something that isn't, like CoQ10 or even a supplement of glutathione or C60, and if they're not selective, 
in my opinion, that's not the best way to go. You want something that's selective. So if you have healthy levels of something, it won't bother you. If you have certain oxidation that needs to happen, hydrogen won't bother it. If you have certain oxidation that's bad, hydrogen will take care of it. So hydrogen is really the most amazing thing still that I have found. And after all the research, it just makes me realize how much more amazing that it really is, even when other amazing things come out. Even things like C60 that seems to be pretty amazing. Um, glutathione, I think is even more amazing, but hydrogen, forget about it guys. Hydrogen is still king. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys liked it and appreciate the info as always. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button because I have some new videos coming out. It's going to be some really interesting stuff. So, thanks for watching guys. See you next time on the next video.